Welcome back to Lonely Things. So we're in a very creepy hotel. And so far, we've only met a couple people. Uh, one of them's this creepy guy named Joe. And um, somebody came into our room and left a note that we were to meet somebody named Grace in the bar. But there's nobody in the bar except Joe. And it's... It's a little confusing, but I'm going to go over here. I haven't checked out this side of the hotel yet. Uh -huh. Maybe the manager's office is in here. That's locked. I mean, should be we be trying to break into these rooms? Oh, what the hell? Okay, that, that was weird. I heard him switch the switch. What, what happened? And where'd he go? Oh, look, look at this. A flashlight. Fantastic. Ugh. That's, yeah, that's definitely something I wanted. What's with this red switch? Some kind of trick to it? He switched this light switch. And now this switch? Maybe... these switches are doing. Hmm. Oh, private. We can go in. Ah, a person. Who the hell are you? I don't know anything about a stolen car. Talk to Terrence. He's the manager. It's not my job. You'll probably find him somewhere else. So get out of here already. Hmm. What's this? Hey, me again. Thanks for not telling Dad I've been writing. Not much has changed since I wrote last time. I pretty much clean rooms and sit around listening to music all day. Sometimes stuff happens. You get some real freaks out here. I found this plant, or something, under the bed when I was cleaning room one today. It wasn't the grossest thing I, that I've found in that drunk lady's room, but it's probably the weirdest. It moved. Never seen a plant do that before. I showed it to Terrence and he went all quiet took it from me and ran off to his office. Have, hasn't come out since. The old guy is losing his mind. Ever since his wife disappeared, I'll, I'll tell you about that another time. I've been finding him talking to himself, wandering around the halls in the middle of the night. I wonder what he thinks I'm doing. It's been three months now since that piece of shit dumped me by the side of the road. Terrence gave me a good deal, so... I don't have to pay for much. Another few weeks and I'll have enough to move to the city. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get there, though. I'm actually starting to kind of like this place. Don't ask me why. I'll write again soon. Hope you aren't still sick, Jane. This must be Jane. mentioned something about a plant. That doesn't look like much of a plant, but... Look, Jane, are you gonna... Look, talk to me. I thought I told you to go away. Fucking people in this place. Okay, she's not happy to have me barge into her room. But what has she got in here? Nothing. Alright, let's just go close that. Well, back to the switch. What is with that 
weird switch. Like, I'm gonna, let's try this. If I, let's turn out my flashlight. Okay, now did that, ah! Maybe needed darkness or something. But look, now suddenly we've got an office door revealed. Let's go find Terrence. light I guess oh okay ah this must be Terence's office I saw him just a bit ago is he not in here shelves. Ah, a key. Room 9 key added. And? We got something. Oh, we got that bottle also. What do you got in your closet? Oh, God. Look at the creepy little plant moving around there. Or whatever that is. Some kind of organism. Can we get the mop? No. Damages log. 29th September, room 9, piss bed. Room 1, smoking in room. Spilled alcohol. Room 12, not in use. 30th September. Room 1, found another one of those plants in the wardrobe. Can't identify it. Maybe we've got some kind of infestation. 1st October. Room 5, blood in sink. Maybe shaving accident. Cleaned, no charge. 2nd October. Room 1 and Room 5 are having an affair. Wandering the halls at all hours and making noise. I found the salesman passed out in the restaurant bathroom earlier. He was unintelligible. Pathetic. She has a type. They're dragging this place into the swamp. 3rd October. Room 3. Another red plant. Clogging, clogging the toilet this time. What a smell. Lauren said she'd take care of it. I won't argue. Weird. Okay, so these red plants are cropping up all over the place. And clogging toilets and stuff. And we met a very uh, weird and mean girl named Jane but we still haven't found Grace. So I think we are going to go looking for Grace next time. For now, I will just say thank you for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please smash that like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll talk with all of you again very, very soon.